life, we award every year um, someone who has shown a special commitment to Ohio's working families. Uh, we award them the Merle uh, Shoemaker Award. And this evening, we want to honor uh, State Representative John Patterson with this award. Um, it has been a decades long fight to try and get equitable school funding in the state of Ohio. And Representative Patterson has been focused like a laser on this goal. And so although it's not quite over the line yet, we, we hope the Senate does something, although it doesn't seem like they will, uh, for his work on HB 305, the, the public education funding bill that everyone on the House side almost is in agreement, the stakeholders, is the bill that finally moves us forward on making sure that we have an equitable funding system for education in the state. Um, this was his, he championed it, he pushed for it, he worked it, and finally, in a dramatic bipartisan fashion, it passed the House, and we are all pushing for the Senate, but even at passing the House in such overwhelming bipartisan fashion is a huge achievement. I, I, I you know, you, you can see him on video, and, and we're all praying for you, Representative Patterson, because we know what you're fighting, and we're, we're praying for you. I'll just say I'm mad as hell about what's happened in the State House, but still so, pr in terms of their recklessness around COVID, but I'm so glad you could be with us tonight to, to still get this award, which you so, so badly deserve from your years of hard work. And in your final month here, you finally got it through the house. So with that, I'm thrilled and honored to, to give you the Merle Shoemaker Award, Representative Patterson. If you can, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you, David. I'll do my best for you here. Uh, I can tell you this is no way to get earned media. <laughs> So, uh, and uh, best wishes to my colleague and roommate, John Rogers, as he too is in the hospital. But thanks to all my colleagues and uh, especially those around the state. We've worked so hard on this, our school board uh, officials, the, the, the work group of 16 treasurers and superintendents from all around the state. And you're right, uh, we got it through the house. We cannot let this die. We have to get it done in the Senate. Uh, there was an article in the Lima News today about the president-elect stating publicly that, that he will uh, move this over in the Senate. So I need your help to get this done. And you're not done with me yet. I will be back in Columbus as much as I can to help our colleagues get this through on their time, and their, on their watch for all of Ohio's kids. And I firmly believe if Ohio's going to move forward, we have to have an educated population. And to do that, we have to have funding that's sustainable and predictable and unleash the natural forces that our kids can tap into to make the most as they try to unite their passion with their purpose. It's all about our kids. It's all about Ohio. And that's it. Chairman, thank you so much. I'm tired. So thank you. Thank you, Representative Patterson. And I just want you to know, Representative, as I, as I reached out to folks in the education community, uh, they couldn't have been more supportive of your receiving this award for your sort of, this is your legacy as eight years and you saw it through all the way. And we obviously are, are praying and confident in your full recovery and we'll, we'll celebrate this in person down the road, but thank you for all that you've done and um, appreciate your, your great words. Thank you. Take care. Let us know if we can do anything.